Hi, I'm Nicole Conover. I'm Alex Garcia. And we're going to teach you about the six different types of enzymes and the induced fit and lock and key model. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to start off, there are six enzymes, six classified enzymes. I'm going to explain, Hashtag enzymes. <laughs> I'm going to explain each one to you guys. Um, so first, I'm just going to list them off. Ligase. Transferase. Isomerase, oxidoreductase, and then lyase, and hydrolase. Um, and to make this as easy as possible, if you just think about all the molecules as a or B, and then the addition would be, for example, A, B. Um, so for ligase, it would be just A plus B equals A, B. And that basically just joins two molecules together um, by forming a new chemical bond between the two. And then transferase is a transfer of the functional group that's on the molecule. So if there's A plus B, X, X is a functional group that's on B, and that would be transferred to A. And then for isomerase, that's basically just the uh, <laughs> trans transition from one molecule to an isomer of itself. So just A to B. Um, a to B. And then oxidoreductase is the transfer of electrons between two molecules. So say the uh, electrons were on A, it would go to B, just like so. Lyase is a cleavage of two molecules, um, not using water or um, oxidation. So um, just A goes to B plus C. And then hydrolysis obviously the use of water and we use that, or it is used in hydrolysis, that reaction. So A plus water goes to B plus C. So those are the different types of enzymes. Okay, so I'm going to explain how enzymes work and the two models that show that. So the first model is a lock and key model. So if you just think about like what a lock and key means, it means that one key fits into one lock. That means it's a big lock, right? So let's assume that like, yeah, if like the enzyme looks like this, this is an enzyme structure, that is only going to fit with a substrate that looks exactly like that. But how often in nature would there be an enzyme that looks exactly like this? Okay, so that <laughs> so there's like a newer theory about how this works. This is a more antiquated theory. The newer theory is the induced fit. So a good example of that would be like a hand in a glove. So it fits your hand like it's the same shape as your hand, but as you put it on, it like fits it fits to you. So an example of that would be we can even use the same shape like this, but it's more it'll like morph to like see because if you could get a subshape that maybe has like a bigger part right here, it'll still fit into here. It'll just fit more. It's induced. So those are the two models of enzymes and enzymes and substrates. Okay. So this is our extra credit assignment for biochemistry with Gage and thanks. Hashtag biochemistry. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for watching.